Recently on Portal, disgraced movie star Dirk Ruddy moved to the world of Second Life, longing for another shot at fame. It came in the form of Sir Blue, a classical Shakespearean actor who ruined his own career with a single mistake. I was asked to play the great American superhero, the Incredible Hulk. I underwent a horribly expensive and irreversible surgical procedure to turn my skin blue. The two fallen actors decided to work together, aiming to create a masterpiece to relaunch their careers. They cast the highly expressive Gardenia Flowers as their leading lady and prepared to make movie history. This is Portal. Dave, the transmission has begun. Oh, great. Uh, hi. Okay, so here are the reasons I don't have time for a transmission today. One, the virtual world's greatest detective, Sergeant Mo Tuesday, has been murdered and his killers are still at large. Two, the drifter's too busy saving the life of an old friend to help me out. Three, Val has made some adjustments to the hub and I'm still totally confused. And four, I didn't go to sleep last night, so Val, can you help me out here? Yes, Dave. I recommend playback of your recently recorded presentation of housing choices in the dark age of Camelot. Okay, great. Go. There's something new in the dark age of Camelot. Housing, and lots of it. Here's how it works. When you pass through the gates of one of Camelot's massive new housing zones, you'll be looking for these, essentially lot markers. Take your time and find one in a location where you'd like to build. Once you've made a decision, click on the marker. If it's available, you'll have the chance to purchase the land as your own. Double right click the stake again to purchase a house. You can choose from four different sizes of homes at significant price gaps. We'll show off and buy a mansion. There goes the neighborhood. Portal? Yep. Ah. Oh, Let's decorate. Of course, we could make our new home beautiful like this, but since our neighbors don't seem to like us, let's try some good old fashioned spite and make the place as ugly as possible. Right click on the house to bring up this decorating menu. From there, you can pick out your own roof, walls, door, shutters, tent, and more. Now, decorations. You can purchase benches, tables, archery targets, reflecting pools, wells, bird baths, even a garden gnome. The list goes on and on. But I think we'll buy barrels. Lots and lots of barrels. Click on garden. You purchase items here. Then place them by dragging them out of your inventory and onto this aerial map of your property. Get the kids, we're moving. Let's check out the inside. In the case of a mansion, you'll have more space than you know what to do with. Multiple floors above ground and below. You can place items inside too, except this time you won't have the aerial map. Just drag things from your inventory directly into the house. Chairs, chests, beds, thrones. The choices are endless. But the real benefit of housing isn't aesthetics, it's functionality. By clicking on these small circles throughout your house, you can buy and build bindstones to protect your soul, forges and lathes to use for your trade skills, or vaults to store your possessions. Even better, you can hire permanent help who will live with you in your home for the sole purpose of teleporting you, healing you, and serving all of your adventuring needs. But don't get too carried away at first. Your rent is weekly and can be very expensive. That's housing in the dark age of Camelot. Dave. Oh, um, hi. Val, anything else we can show them while we search for most killers? Scanning. Yes, Dave. Dirk Ruddy and Sir Blue have completed their film. They will be holding a screening in mere moments. Wait, they actually finished? I, I didn't think they... Okay, um, all right. Well, as you know, Dirk Ruddy was once the greatest movie star in all the world, until a tragic misunderstanding led to his public disgrace. What you may not be aware of is that knowing the truth about Dirk I sent him to the world of Second Life for a chance to start over. And once there, Dirk met another amazing but out of luck actor named Sir Blue. And together, they've taken on the task of creating a masterpiece to reignite their careers. Now, coincidentally, they've even cast Portal's very own sensitivity trainer, Gardenia Flowers, to play their leading lady. 
Of course, I hope they're successful. I just can't imagine Dirk and Sir Blue actually agreeing on anything. Action movie. Coming of age tale. Action movie. Coming of age tale. Action movie. Coming of age tale. Why do you two have to fight? I suggest we compromise and make a coming of age tale that is an action movie. Don't be preposterous. You're stupid. Please don't hurt my feelings. We'll have a big chase scene. The whole movie shall be a chase. Our characters shall be chasing their dreams. My character will be named Dirk Ruddy. What? No, 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 Dirk. The whole point of making this movie is to restore your name. Right now, the words Dirk Ruddy are synonymous with dirt. Our wish is for viewers to become completely immersed in the film world, to whisk them away and make them forget your true identity, to know only your character. Dirk Ruddy. No. That must be our director. Well, hello, hello. Oh, look at you, old chap. You haven't aged a day. I'm so thrilled you've chosen me to direct. Huh? I didn't hire him. Lights or camera! Action! Action! Dirk, who is this man? Our director. What? But he... Oh, no. Absolutely not. Action movie. Coming of age tale. Action movie. Coming of age tale. Action movie. Coming of age tale. Hmm. So they really did it. Uh, okay, Val. So when we come back, let's go ahead and uh, show them the movie. They really finished it? Yes, Dave. The screening begins in seven minutes. All right. Well, be right back. They call this crap hole the plane of innovation. <laughs> Looks more like a junkyard to me. Meets all the requirements. Rats, spiders, and dangerous trespassers who break in late at night. Definitely a bad place to take a date. The drifter is looking for me? That can't be. How would he even know of me? Very well then, proceed to the outer gates and... Oh dear! My toaster's broken. How did you... I... Ever heard of a woman named Xylita? No! Uh, I... 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 Uh... Let me refresh your memory. She's a map maker. Gave you charts of Lucklin a few years back. Oh yes, indeed, indeed! I never would have found my way around that absurd moon if it wasn't for her! I made her an artificial heart to repay the favor! And you use cheap parts. It's failing. Well, I... I, I, I didn't even know her! But I do. She's a personal friend. Guess what that means. Get your tools. We're leaving. There's not much time. Now, just one moment. I couldn't fix her heart if I wished to. It could take weeks. Well, well, now please hold on. There is one construct in this plane who already has a foolproof heart. We could borrow it. What? And where? Xanamac, three yards west, but... Stay here. You move, you lose. <sighs> Does it always have to end with a dragon? Crap. Why won't you fall? That's him. He can't withstand both of you at once. <laughs> shut the dragon off and then I'll simply remove the heart and we'll be on our way to save your friend. The procedure took less than two hours, but the gnome seemed to know his stuff. I let him go. Drifter, you have saved me. My blood flows anew once again. How might I ever repay your old friend? <laughs> Don't sweat it. Do not be shy, Drifter. I know it was your thirst for fresh charts that drew you here before you learned of my illness. You are a good man. Now how might I help you? 
I need to go somewhere I haven't been in a long time, and I'm not in the mood to be lost. Think you can whip me up some charts of Star Wars galaxies? Hi, um, welcome back. Still kind of, still kind of busy here, but I believe that the screening of Dirk Reddy's film will start in moments. Val. Yes, Dave. The movie is about to begin. Sir Blue is now preparing to address the press. Okay, uh, perfect. Then uh, take us in. This is so exciting. I'm gonna go get some applause. Dirk, do not break your promise. After the film, you may hog the spotlight for the rest of your years. But please, you must maintain a low profile until you have won back their hearts. Now stay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. I am your humble host, Sir Wilhelm Haltburn Hanston III, otherwise known as Sir Blue. We have gathered this evening for a special occasion indeed. For tonight, you shall witness a film like none you have seen before. Tonight, you shall be blinded by the brightness of a long lost star. Tonight, you shall witness the birth of bright new stars. Tonight, you shall laugh. Tonight, you shall cry. Tonight, you shall live. I give you misunderstood. <laughs> Hey, brah, you're in Mrs. Simmons' class, huh? Who wants to know? Sit behind you, and I ain't in the mood to do my homework, dude. Give me your backpack. No homework in here, dunce man. I didn't do it. Then what's in the bag? A razor and shaving cream. Yeah, all right. Hand it over. Oh, dude, wait. Don't mess with him. Do you know who he is? He's that bad boy from the wrong side of the tracks. The one with nothing to lose. Too late. You already ruined my morning. That was a close shave. Young man, this is the 16th day in a row you have showed up without your homework. Would you care to explain yourself? I told you, I have to work after school. Some of us have to pay our own rent. That is no excuse. You're not the only student to pass through these halls who's had to hold down a job. Yeah, but I'm the only one who doesn't care about your stupid education. Young man, just who do you think you are? I'm Dirk Brown. Elizabethia! Elizabethia! What are you looking at? You're not observing that dreadful pool boy, are you? No, Mother. Rumor is he dropped out of school, wouldn't you know? But why would anyone drop out of school? Because not everyone understands the importance of education like we do. Our family is upper crust, Elizabethia. While that, that rapscallion is but a crumb. You are to stay away from him. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mother. Nobody understands me. They don't know what it's like to be a bad boy. So full of passion, but not knowing how to express yourself. Except with your fists. It's not cool. Excuse me? Whoa! You're hot! What was that word you just uttered? Cool? It rhymes with pool. Pray tell, what does it mean, this cool? You're hot! Elizabethia! Elizabethia! Get away from him! He will corrupt you! She's hot! Stay away from my daughter, you animal! Better yet, I will force you away. You, boy, are fired! Fine. And you, young lady, in the house this instant! But, Mother, I love him. I love him. In the house! <laughs> Poor boy. Cool boy. Oh, oh my daughter! My daughter!
This stinks. She was hot. I blew it. I'm just a boy from the wrong side of the tracks. I ain't got no idea how to relate to upper crusters. That, my dear boy, is exactly why you need a little blue. Dave. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Let's not make you wait any longer. Please enjoy the second half of Dirk Ruddy's triumphant comeback film, hopefully, Misunderstood. That, my dear boy, is exactly why you need a little blue. You're blue. Why are you blue? It's a dreadfully long story. Do you truly wish to hear it? No. Very well. Then accept my blue skin and my mysterious past, and let us discuss your problems. I ain't got a problem. Oh? Does the name Elizabethia ring a bell? Who wants to know? Who wants to show? I will teach you how to win her affections. She already wants me. I'm Dirk Brown. Do you truly believe it will ever work? She is refined, Dirk. You will never know how to express your feelings to a lady so complex. What will you discuss with her? How will you make her family come to accept you? You are too simple for her, Dirk. She would soon toss you aside like day-old caviar. You, my dear boy, need a little art. Need a little culture. Nuh-uh. I shall now turn around and count to five. When I turn back, if you are gone, I will assume you have chosen to live your life in solitude and misery. If you still stand before me, then I shall teach you the ways of the refined gentleman. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to my world, Dirk Brown. I got the culture now, blue dude. You rock. Uh, oh, Dirk, before you leave, I have something I'd like to ask of you in return for my uh, services. Make me proud, you fine young chap. Make me proud. And thus was born a gentleman. Hello. Right back at you. You're very handsome. But you and I are from different worlds. We could never... Wait. Something has changed about you. You seem... Refined? Yes. Yes. He does seem to be suddenly... cultured. You got that right, hotties. Ain't you gonna invite me in? Later, Mama. So... Here we are. I wrote you a poem to express myself passionately. Listen. Ahem. <clears throat> Wrong side of the track. No looking back. Just cleaning the pool without no school. Saw hottie. Made my heart race. Learned ballet and Monet without making a face. She... Look out! Ninjas! Hiya! <laughs> That one's getting away! Hiya! I love you, Dirk Brown. I know. Free your mind, cause I'll be back. Two very enthusiastic thumbs down. Go back to your mommy, bedwetter! Hey, Sir Blue, why don't you try porn? Gardenia stinks! Dave. Oh. Is the, uh, is the movie over? Yes, Dave. Oh. And uh, how was it? According to exit polls, the movie ranked equal to Ernest goes to jail. Oh, that's excellent. Send, uh, send my congratulations along. Dave, Ernest goes to jail was a critical failure. No, it wasn't. That movie was awesome. Dave. Well, then send my condolences. Are we? Yes, Dave. Okay. 
Look, go to g4tv.com slash portal for more information. I'm really sorry about my lack of attention today, but as I mentioned, our friend, Sergeant Mo Tuesday, has been murdered. And the people responsible for his death are still out there somewhere. We'll uh, see you next time. You know what I told them? I said, Mr. Ambassador, with all due respect, get the hell out of my office. And you know where that rhino is now? Boom! <laughs> but I'm not all business, ladies. Come here. Who the heck is it? It's me, Truggy. What do you want, kid? This better be good. Well, sir, I... The monsters, I mean, Nancy and Murray, are ready for... I mean, to start ruining Christmas. They killed an innocent detective, you know. Mo Tuesday? Well, anyway, the precautions are in place here, so no one can trace anything back. So, should I tell them to go ahead? No. No? No, take a vacation, kid. Go have a blast on me. R really? No, you idiot! What do you think I hired you for? I told you to ruin Christmas, so ruin Christmas! What do you want? You want me to throw a launch party? Put an announcement in the paper? Wait for Spider-Man to stop us? I got it! Why don't we go play games for eight hours like your old boss Apex till those morons from Portal trace the Mo Tuesday murder our way! Now get out of here, kid! Do your job! Well... Okay, it's just... Druggy! Are you sure you want to do this? No, I'm not. Hang on. Dr. Phil? Yeah, it's me, Bob. Should I ruin Christmas or should I hold off? Because I've got a spineless clown with sad puppy eyes in my bedroom begging me not to. What do I do? Tell me, Doc, tell me. Ruin Christmas? Sure, you get it. Oprah says hello. Great, right back at her. See you at the clubhouse there. You catch any of that? Christmas, gone. Make it happen. Now go, go, go. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want to see you, Druggy. Ah. It's your fault. You little you brat. Had you ruined my career. Have been How could you have not Shut listened up. to me? Fault, I have I should have made a move by myself. I deserve a deep and profound understanding of the meaning of the drama. I thought it was a fashion movie with a coming-of-age tale. You twit. Maybe you should change your name. 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 I'm Dick Reddy. More servings of Portal, coming up next on G4's Overindulgence Weekend. Hold the butter, please. <laughs>